Hello dear students, our lesson is equivalent fraction. Okay, let's start with the meaning of equivalent fraction. Equivalent fraction is fractions that have the same value but different number. I will give you an example of two equivalent fractions. So if I take this shape and I colored one side, the fraction that is being represented here is one half. In the other shape, the circle is cut into eight pieces and we want to color the half of this circle, so I will color four of eight pieces. We note here that one half is equal to four eighths. Another example, if I have this shape that here circle cut it to four equal pieces and I colored two pieces, the fraction here will be two fourths. Again, if I color one piece out of two, the fraction here will be one half. So, two-fourths is equal to one-half. If you look at all the fractions here, one-half, four-eighths, and two-fourths are all equivalent to fraction because they all have the same value. So what is the rule of equivalent fraction? Equivalent fraction is can only be made by multiplying or dividing. And whatever I do to the numerator, I've got to do to the denominator. Now I have some example without drawing. Remember, we can get the equivalent fraction by, by multiply or divide. First here, 3 fourths. Here I will use multiply. So I will take 3 times 2 and 4 times 2. Because whatever I do in the numerator, I've got to do in the denominator. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. Next 2 sevenths. Again I will multiply by 3. So 2 times 3 and 7 times 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 and 7 times 3 is equal to 21. So 2 sevenths is equal to 6 over 21. Number 3. 6 8. This is an example where I'm going to divide. Here we note that 6 and 8, both of them are even number. Now I can divide. 6 is divided by 2 and 8 is divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 and 8 is divided by 2 is equal to 4. So 6 eighths is equal to 3 fourths. Another example, 7 over 21. I can see that 
7 and 21 can only divide it by 7. So 7 divided 7 and 21 divided by 7. 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. So 7 over 21 is equal to 1 third. We note that here if I use dividing to decrease the fraction, it called simplify. Now we have some exercise for missing numbers. In this case, you have to find the number that is missing. I have to look to the number from left to right. If the numbers from left to right are increasing, you have to multiply to find the missing number. So ask yourself, 8 times what is equal to 16? Yes, it's 2. Remember that. Whatever you do in the denominator, you have to do in the numerator. So, I have to multiply 2 by 2. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, 2 8 is equal to 4 over 16. Another example. The number from left to right are increasing. So, I'm going to multiply and now ask yourself, 1 times what is equal to 3? It's a 3, yes. 1 times 3 equal to 3. So 5 times 3 is equal to 15. So 1 fifth is equal to 3 over 15. Here in this example, the numbers from left to right are decreasing. That means I'm going to divide. So ask yourself, 6 divided by what is equal to 1? It's 6, yes, 6 divided by 6 equals to 1. So 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. So 4 over 6 over 18 equal to third. Remember, what I do in the numerator, I will do in the denominator. Another example, the number from left to right are decreasing. So I'm going to divide. So ask yourself, 15 divided by what is equal to 3? Yes, the answer is 5. So 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So 5 over 15 is equal to 1 third. 